So what's going on with this lawsuit? Hi, Kristen. So this falls within the AG's purview. She has authority to bring a lawsuit asking for the dissolution of a nonprofit organization, which the NRA is and has long been. Now, this action is by New York State against the CEO, Wayne LaPierre, along with some former executives of the organization. It's a civil fraud charge. And what it says is that these executives and the and the organization diverted millions of dollars from the organization to personal expenditures. Things that were listed in the press conference from AG James were things like personal travel, private jets, uh, personal security, also trips to the Bahamas, luxury hotels, dining, those sorts of lavish expenditures is what she said the organization's funds were being used for. Now, the hook here is the NRA, like any nonprofit, they are legally required to use their assets to further their charitable mission. And the AG is saying that's not what's happened. She said that more than $64 million in the span of three years were diverted for this personal type of spending that should have gone to the organization. Now, we did hear back from the NRA, its president, Carolyn Meadows. She said that the lawsuit is really politically motivated. She says it's baseless and a premeditated attack on both the organization as well as on the Second Amendment. She also said that it was timed out in order to proceed perfectly uh, before the 2020 election. She said that it's just reaching its crescendo at that time for political reasons and that it's a power grab by A.G. James. Um, of course, the NRA has been really in influential in elections. Uh, it's five million members strong. In 2016, for the presidential election, it spent about $30 million helping President Trump get elected, about $54 million on the GOP in total. Also, the organization most recently reported um, in its uh, financial filings that it had $352 million in revenue, and that's a 20. 18 number. We don't yet have 2019.